the flow side of crypto. Joining me today is a very special guest. Hello, hi, I'm Gorang. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Indoors. Indoors is a coding assessment platform based on the Ethereum blockchain. And we also conduct a lot of cool hackathons. And mm -hmm. today we are here to talk about one such hackathon. NFT Vision Hack. Gorang, very nice to have you today. Could you tell us about NFT Vision Hack? What it is, what it stands for, and how did the idea come about? Uh, yes. So at Indoors, uh, along with our partners, Coincilium, uh, we are organizing this hack called NFT Vision Hack. And it is all about NFTs, right? So people keep mm -hmm. saying that NFTs are dead, but we don't believe in that at all. We think that mm -hmm. the NFT market is really thriving. Mm -hmm. And especially on the developer's side and on the artist's side, I think people really love this phenomena. People really yeah. love this space. And that's why, that's why we are doing NFT hackathon, right? So we believe mm -hmm. that the NFT space is not mm -hmm. only about the developers. Yes, mm -hmm. developers are a very important part of this, software developers. Mm -hmm. But it's also about artists. It's also about collectors. And, you know, mm -hmm. just all of these people coming together, that's what makes the space so, so awesome, you know? <laughs> Awesome. So basically, what can we expect in this hackathon? Uh, yes. So in this hackathon, uh, we have some really great sponsors, some really big names in the industry, starting from government of Gibraltar, who are actually sponsoring this. Mm -hmm. uh, along with them, we have some really big industry players like Rarible, which is the NFT mm -hmm. marketplace. We have Circle and USDC sponsoring this. And we also have IPFS Filecoin, who is actually sponsoring the hackathon. Oh, wow. And, and indoors, <laughs> we also have a sponsor. We are also a sponsor here. So each of these uh, industry players, so Rarible, mm -hmm. Circle, uh, you, uh, you know, Filecoin, IPFS, mm -hmm. and indoors, we have a track in these hackathons. Mm -hmm. As a participant, as someone who wants to submit your project, you can mm -hmm. submit in any one of these tracks. So each, each of those tracks has their own, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, teams and uh, mm -hmm. some submission guidelines and you submit it accordingly. Mm -hmm. So basically, let's dumb it down a bit for newcomers into the cryptoverse. So let's just say, is this more of an event for a full-fledged developer, an artist, or someone in between can also view it, participate, etc.? Yes, uh, so that's the beauty of this hackathon. The way we have designed it is that uh, just as an artist who has some mm -hmm. really awesome NFT ideas, you can mm -hmm. come and mm -hmm. join our community. So we have about 1,700 members on the Discord channel who are wow. active right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so as an artist, you can actually submit your ideas. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can submit like a, some cool art collection for uh, generative art or some digital art or something. Mm -hmm. Or you can even team up with some developers from the community and uh, you know start developing on your idea, develop it further. And you mm -hmm. can even launch your own NFT in this case, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, and you'll help them go from A to Z, start to finish, basically. Yes, yes. We have a lot of mentors. So each of the sponsors is actually providing some mentors mm -hmm. for this uh, for this tracks as well. We have some wow. uh, developers from indoors who will be helping them. Mm -hmm. uh, some NFT experts from indoors will help them all across their journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and our, our aim is to actually get some people to uh, launch their own NFT projects at the end of this hackathon. Let's see if that nice. happens. <laughs> nice. So essentially, let's just say I have an idea. I want to create the next great dog NFT, right? <laughs> and I come to you or a team like Filecoin's team, Rarible team, and I say, look, I have this idea. I now want to create an NFT put it on the marketplace, uh, how would that process come about? Do they have to sign some kind of NDA? Do they have to just provide the file, the idea? How's that development go along so that people really understand how, because one of the problems was it's quite difficult for non-tech people to create their own NFT, right? So let's dumb it down for people even more. How will this be done step by step by step? Yeah, okay, that's good, a great right. question. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So actually, I, I can give you an example. So we have an mm -hmm. artist, artist from India uh, mm -hmm. who has been in the advertising space. And this mm -hmm. person knows all about design, marketing, and advertising their ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, so this person has come up with a really cool uh, idea about uh, some you know outer space aliens mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. who 
who will be you know invading earth and all that <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so this person has actually submitted um, uh, a concept for generative art and mm-hmm. now uh, we are guiding that person on the next step so what can this person do with the, mm-hmm. with the concept of this generative art with all those art pieces how mm-hmm. to convert that into an actual nft project we are also trying mm-hmm. to connect them with uh, some other developers who don't have a team yet mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then uh, we'll help them actually uh, if they want if they want to do it we can help them launch this project as well we can guide them on the process how to do it how to go about the marketing mm-hmm. how to go about the tokenomics of this Mm-hmm. about building a community, you know, all these things. Wow. Well, that's just an awesome idea in general. You're kind of bridging this non-technical space with the technical space, and a lot of art comes from it. Yeah. That's awesome. And, yeah. That's a good idea. Uh, essentially, when did you start doing this? Is this your first hackathon, or did you do a lot of these beforehand? No, that is one of the business models for indoors, right? So what we do is mm-hmm. uh, at mm-hmm. Core, we are a coding assessment platform. So mm-hmm. we conduct uh, coding tests and we help developers assess their code, right? So okay. hackathons is one of the uh, verticals at indoors. Uh, we also do mm-hmm. upskilling. So we, we uh, what we do is we also conduct coding tests when people are doing some trainings. So when mm-hmm. people are doing corporate trainings, we also conduct coding tests for that. Anyway, so uh, we have been doing hackathons for a long time. So we have done hackathons with really big names in Asia and in Europe. Mm-hmm. So companies mm-hmm. like Rolls Royce, uh, Grab from Asia, also mm-hmm. with Dell uh, a couple of years ago. Um, and last year we had conducted like a big uh, global hackathon called Post COVID mm-hmm. Hack, which was again mm-hmm. a blockchain hackathon. And this year we are doing an FT Vision Hack. Yeah. So this is cool. our fifth or sixth hackathon, I would say. Wow. And so just to kind of take a stand on the NFT market. Currently, it's quite hard for an artist to get their NFT on a platform, right? So one problem is fees. The other problem is, of course, technical knowledge. The third one is just then exposure. Artists are usually not the marketing types, you know. So you can help them on all three fronts. And essentially, when is this happening? Is this happening right now? And how can people participate? Yeah, so the hackathon is happening right now. We started the hackathon on 3rd of July mm-hmm. and it is ending on 31st of August. So it's like a two month hackathon. Within mm-hmm. this time frame, you can just come in, you can register for the hackathon on our website, which is nftvisionhack.com. And uh, then you can get started with it. So once you register, you join our Slack and Discord channels, then our admins will take you through the entire process. If you have any questions, you can ask the questions from those nice. channels. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going on right now. A very exciting project. And actually, I wanted your opinion about the current NFT market, if, we, if I could go around. Because you're right in the middle. You're connecting with developers and artists how are they feeling? Are they excited? Do they see a lot of problems with the whole sphere? Uh, what's the current sentiment like? Uh, yes, uh, as you said, uh, coming back to your earlier question about artists, I think uh, yes, uh, being an artist and getting your work sold, it was quite. It has been quite difficult historically, mm. so, as mm. we, we often call uh, a lot of young artists as struggling artists. But with mm. the NFT space, it's changing, right? So as an artist, you get an avenue to actually sell your art to all mm-hmm. your followers and actually make some really good money out of it. Right? Mm-hmm. But as you said, it's not possible for every artist. So mm-hmm. what the, the trend that we have been seeing is uh, if you want to get featured on one of these marketplaces like Nifty mm-hmm. Gateway or uh, you know, Super Rare or any of these, so rare or any of these things, mm-hmm. all of these are highly curated marketplaces, right? Mm-hmm. And they actually feature artists who actually have their own following as well. So what I would suggest personally is as an artist, uh, you should go out there, you should put yourself Mm -hmm. out there, put your art out there. And you have so many platforms nowadays, you have TikTok, you have Instagram, you have Twitter. So start reaching out to your followers, start making, Mm -hmm. you know, create a community around your art. And that's Mm -hmm. when you will get noticed by one of these platforms. And that's when you can make the big bucks. So essentially you have to be liberal you have to be bold and just don't wait for these big players but go out into the world essentially yeah yeah look at look at people right the way he did it is he yeah. kept doing an art every day for yeah. you know, he has done thousands of arts like that 
That's great advice to young aspiring developers. But what's the culture like? I'm just trying to pinpoint uh, kind of... So Silicon Valley is quite, you know, standardized at this point. You try to work for the fangs, you know, the Facebooks, Amazons, Googles, etc. What's it like in the crypto development world? Is it like you simply join the project you're most excited about? Is it just chasing the biggest paycheck? Are people like nomads? going from project to project or do they grow from the ground up what's the culture like uh yes so if you look at the culture and if you look at like a stereotype stereotypical developers or what do you call mm-hmm. archetypes of developers there are a few archetypes uh so people like me uh who did not do their own projects at the time back in mm-hmm. 2016 2017 mm-hmm. so these developers they have been developing uh you know smart contracts for like five or six years now Mm-hmm. and these people they hop on from one project to another and they are mm-hmm. highly sought after because these are the people you go to when you want to launch your own token right mm-hmm. so these people have worked on multiple token projects until now and they have made some big bucks on that right mm-hmm. so that's one type of developer a uh, highly senior developer who has been working on multiple projects mm-hmm. then you have some developers who have been in companies like consensus or metamask since the beginning and mm-hmm. they have really shaped these products So for example the person who joined metamask 3 years ago 4 years ago he has seen mm-hmm. metamask grow from a few thousand users to millions of users where it is right yeah. now so that's uh, one type of de- so and if you look at the if you com- want to compare with silicon valley mm-hmm. uh, so companies like consensus uh, you know r3 or some of these companies those are the fangs in the crypto space now oh uh, cool okay if you want some that's interesting one yeah <laughs> you go to these companies get some you know good salary I never heard that uh, yeah, comparison before. That's awesome. That's a soundbite. <laughs> awesome. So other than that, um, we wouldn't be called the flip side of crypto if we didn't have a flip side. So this is where, for audience at home, essentially Gorang will now try to unmask or say something quite uh, difficult about his own project. Where do you think NFT vision hack, for example, has to improve? 
in the future, for example. Where do you think uh, your team as a whole has to improve and what can be done better as a whole in the crypto sphere? Uh, yes, so at least for the NFT vision hack, one thing we would like yeah. to improve, uh, or actually we have improved from our last experience in our yeah. last hackathons, is actually to get some really good quality submissions. So mm. what happens is the we, we get a lot of submissions, we get a lot of registrations, but mm. uh, uh, you know, to get those top quality submissions, to get the submissions which can mm -hmm. actually be converted into NFT projects, that's uh, something we need to definitely improve upon. So right. I think right now already we are seeing a few projects uh, which can actually be launched as new NFT projects. Mm -hmm. That's something we need to improve in the next one and a half months. We need to get more projects. Uh, we, mm -hmm. we have an aim of at least getting five to 10 projects which can mm -hmm. be launched by the team, by the respective teams. Right? So yeah, that's where we need to improve that. All right. So thank you for being so open about it. So how many submissions do you get and how many do you come through until you say, oh, that is a good project? Uh, again, it depends on the sponsors and the tracks. So last yeah. uh, last time for post-COVID hack, we had RSK blockchain as one of the sponsors, IOV Labs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had some really good submissions, uh, which were actually using the RSK testnet and the RSK mainnet for uh, mm -hmm. solving their problems. So see, when people, when companies sponsor these kind of hackathons, the main aim is for them to uh, develop their own developer ecosystem as well, get as many mm -hmm. developers to use their mm -hmm. protocols as possible. And uh, yeah, we had we had a lot of submissions. So last time we had more than thousand registrations, twelve hundred registrations. Wow. Yeah, out of which about hundred teams submitted their projects. Yeah. Awesome. And out of those, how many became full projects? Uh, out of those, I think uh, five to six of them actually. Yeah, then they did the. Wow, that's yeah. We need to increase the number of submissions then. God. <laughs> So other than that, Garan, you are doing an awesome job connecting artists to developers, helping them ease the way. As I think the only way the crypto market as a whole will mature, the NFT market will mature, is because of people like you and your brilliant team. So Garan, thank you for joining us on the flip side of crypto. And hopefully see you many more times in our interviews. Thank you, Garan. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.